Merry Christmas from everybody here at Lineups and welcome to our Monday Night Football Player Props video here for the Baltimore Ravens at the San Francisco 49ers. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Nostrum and Will Schwartz. Super exciting game here, two 11-3 teams, potential Super Bowl preview. Everything about this game is just awesome and I can't wait to watch it. Cody, going to go to you first here. Any player props that you're seeing right now that you like the value on? Yeah, I think we just have to keep attacking this week. Uh, 49ers rush defense, and I'm going to go Gus Edwards over 39 and a half rushing yards. Um, losing Keaton Mitchell, absolutely horrific. Um, broke my heart, but uh, it, at least to our, to our favor, that opens up some carries uh, for some others. And that's going to also play towards Gus Edwards. Uh, he uh, Not only are the Ravens one of the more, uh, not the more, not only are the Ravens the most dominant rushing unit, first across the board, DVOA, success rate, EPA, um, fifth in adjust line yards. They're going as the 49ers rush defense, who it's, it's, it has been bad just all season long. Now, I'm not saying the 49ers defense is bad, but they're just not good at stopping the run. Um, 18th rush defense, DVOA, 21st success rate, 29th EPA. And then to make matters worse, now they kind of – it's going to be a lot added stress on their linebackers. They're going to have to kind of find the perfect blend of either staying in coverage or respecting the run or spying on Lamar. I just think it's going to open up uh, gaps for the ground game to just continue to uh, run on over them. I think you said, what, Cardinals averaged almost eight yards per carry last game? <laughs> You're giving me the Ravens, who are a far more efficient and more dominant running attack? Yeah, I'm feeling very confident. Um, Gus Edwards over 39 and a half rushing yards. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in here because that was that's my only offensive prop I have for this whole game. Although I'll lend a little more to it. The Ravens are the only not just in terms of being good at running, but in terms of doing it a lot. The Ravens are the only team in the league that run the ball on more than half of their snaps on offense. So part of that is because of Lamar, but a lot of it is the running back based ground game. And with Keaton out, I genuinely, genuinely cannot understand this number being all the way down at 39. I, I mean, there's no locks, but th- this is value, is what this is. Yeah, I like the Gus Edwards rushing play here. I'm actually going to go with a slightly different angle. I like Gus Edwards over two and a half receiving yards. And it's a low number, but you can get it right now at minus 120 on bet 365, minus 140 on bet MGM. Not being posted at all the books right now. But I think with Keaton Mitchell out for the year, you're going to see Edwards revert to a much more heavy passing game work. Uh, Mitchell averaged 11 routes per game the last three weeks. And Edwards was much more of a passing threat before Mitchell really emerged. But even with Mitchell's emergence, he's been over this number in seven of his last 10 games. His receptions prop heavily juiced to over half a reception. He's over this yardage number in seven of eight games where he has at least one catch. Niners have allowed 5.6 receptions per game to running backs, the fifth most in the NFL. And teams have averaged 39 pass attempts per game against the Niners, the fourth most in the NFL. So could see the Ravens passing a little bit more here, especially if they're trailing which the spread indicates as five and a half point underdogs i think edwards over two and a half receiving yards like he only needs one catch to hit this and i think he'll get that one catch at some point during the game so i love the value here schwartz i'll go over to you for your next pick in this game i'm looking at his game log right now can you imagine betting this prop uh back in week four when he had a season high three targets caught two of them and picked up one yard (laughs) That's got to be the ultimate bad beat, but uh, we're going to go over to the other side of the football for Baltimore. We mentioned that the Niners linebackers are going to have a lot of work to do. So are the Ravens linebackers, and if you didn't think I could get the Bears into this, you are wrong. They have been Trojan horsed in because I'm still upset they let Roquan Smith go, but I can capitalize on him being in Baltimore for this game because he's going to have a heavy workload too. As great as the Ravens rushing game is, the Niners are obviously a very, very, very strong rushing offense based around Christian McCaffrey, the best offensive skill player in the entire NFL. Uh, McCaffrey obviously is very capable of getting to the second level as a runner, as a receiver. A lot of the Niners pass game takes place over the middle. You've got George Kittle getting involved and all those physical threats. The number is eight and a half for total tackles and assists from Roquan. I mean, we're talking about, by PFF's estimation, fifth best uh, linebacker in the game, 11th best for the run, fifth best for tackling, fifth best for coverage. The dude is phenomenal. He's everywhere, and he should be extremely productive against a Niners offense that will definitely challenge his particular zone of the football field. Yeah, I had the, the written matchup preview for this game over on the site. We do our key matchups for the game, and Christian McCaffrey versus Roquan Smith was one of my key matchups. Um 
it, it doesn't get better than that for a running back against a linebacker and a, two of Schwartz's favorite players in the entire NFL. So I really can't wait to watch that matchup in this game. Uh, Cody, I'll go back over to you for your next player prop pick here. Yeah, I actually only had the one prop. And then while you guys were talking, I just kind of decided to peruse the board. And um, just keeping the theme on Gus Edwards, I was kind of really shocked to see this discrepancy. Uh, Gus Edwards, anytime touchdown, minus 125 on BetMGM, plus 170 on points bet right now. That's an absolute smash for me. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, we're just echoing the same thing I said in the game picks. I just said in this breakdown that we said multiple times before. And I just really struggled to contain the rush. Ravens excel at the rush. It's the Gus Edwards show. Um, and as long as Lamar's not vulturing, but, uh, when it comes to also wanting to beat an elite team, which, you know, I still have the Ravens or the, the 49ers still above the Ravens, um, in terms of an overall complete team as the better team, you're going to want to capitalize on scoring opportunities. How you do that, abuse the other team's weakness, just run it up the gut, run it to the outside, we'll do whatever, just keep doing your running scheme. Uh, to me, it's, it's Gus Edwards here. I mean, you're giving me a, my, a huge, huge gap in uh, numbers. I'll gladly take the plus 170. Yeah, like that look a lot. Uh, going back over to the Ravens side of the ball. Sorry, the Niners side of the ball here. I'm taking Jake Moody over one and a half field goals made. And Schwartz, I'm curious if you had this one written down as. Kind of the special teams guy for our show, but you are wearing the Michigan hat today. Um, he's been under this number in four straight games, but very different matchup here with the Ravens, having a 37% red zone touchdown rate allowed, tied for the best in the NFL. I think the, the Niners are going to be finishing drives with field goals much more often than they have been lately in this game. Ravens, to their credit, have allowed two field goal makes per game, tied for the sixth most in the NFL. Uh, I think field goal props against teams that have elite red zone defenses are always a smart way to go. And Moody is very capable as a kicker, as Schwartz and I can attest to having watched him for a few years at Michigan. Schwartz, was that on your list? It's actually funny. This is not only a great coaching matchup, a great offensive and defensive matchup. It's a great kicker matchup because you have the goat on one side and the next goat on the other. I actually have a speech about why I'm not doing kicker props for this game at all. And it is that the Niners have the league's best red zone offense going up against the second best red zone defense. I'm just not comfortable fading McCaffrey and Debo in Ayuk in those short spaces and Kittle in those short spaces. I don't think you're wrong. If I had to take a side, I'd be there, but I'm not doing it. And Jake's got range. He could hit it on a non red zone drive. That would be huge. I'm just not doing this. And on the other side, the Ravens red zone offense and Niners red zone defense are both exactly 10th. Obviously, there's no edge there. So, and Tucker's, a t you can't go under because Tucker could hit from 61 on a non-red zone drive. Uh, so I'm not touching kickers in this one. And that's why we have the Roquan Smith prop. But Wayne, I, I, I appreciate you getting in on the special teams and I like your analysis. Yeah, I do just think though too, um, you look at the most recent matchups that the Niners have played. They've been against the Cardinals, the Seahawks, the Eagles, and the Seahawks again. And the Bucks, those are all terrible defenses right now. So this is a much it's just a different it's just a different matchup. It's a very different matchup than we've seen for this offense lately. Niners, I mean, you're not gonna get me to say many bad things about their offense overall, but I do think just a couple of times they'll be stalled out on drives and that'll result in Jake Moody. And maybe he gets one before halftime, maybe he kicks a game winner at some point during the game, but I like him to get two field goals in this one. Cody, anything else here? Nope. We're just riding the Gus Edwards train. Schwartz, any final picks? And if not, you can get into your recap. No, I just have the pair that I'm ready to commit to. Game of the year. Could not be more excited to see it, and that's why I'm not sure what's going to happen. That's why it's so exciting. We've got Gus over 39 and a half rushing yards and Roquan over eight and a half tackles and assists. That's all for me. Tight card. Super excited. Cody? Yeah, uh, Gus Edwards over 39 and a half rushing yards, and we're going Gus Edwards anytime touchdown. Be sure to shop around. You can get as high as plus 170. All right, and I have Gus Edwards over two and a half receiving yards and Jake Moody over one and a half field goals made. Should be a super fun game. We're all riding the Gus bus over here on this show, so can't wait to see it play out. Merry Christmas again from everybody here at Lineups. Hope you guys enjoy this awesome Monday Night Football game. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.